man, that brownie must have had something weird in it. Where am I? The fuck is that? The fuck is that? What's up guys, Bearded here, and welcome to the very first episode of Arc Extinction on the Gaming Evolved server. Something's going on there. So it said this was a recommended spawn area. We're, we're central, something central. I, 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 I don't really know where to begin. Like, I should probably make a shack. I should probably do something. But it, it, it looks really pretty. What's this? Oh, there's water here. I could make a base, like, here. And I wouldn't have to worry about a ceiling, exactly. This is good. I like this area. I think we've found our starting area already. Now I saw the trailer for this game and there's there's a lot of new additions to this. Uh especially bridges. That was a pretty important thing for me, bridges. But the thing is is it's a tech bridge and you'd have to get I don't know how easy it, or difficult it is to get to tech in extinction. Probably the same as all the other arcs. But I'm going to I'm going to try to get to tech this time. <coughs> I sneezed and I leveled up. So first things first, I gotta punch a tree. Okay, stone. There's probably stones on the beach here. Alright, sweet. So we got this now. I need flint. Okay, we got these things underway. Could probably start eating fish. Access. Place the burnables. Light fire. Now we have food. But we're off to a great start. This is a, this actually might be one of my best starts yet. I'm not running around dying constantly. We're in a pretty prime location here. I kind of want to like make my base under this. Like I know there's probably cooler spots to have bases, but knowing me, I'm not going to be able to really get a really good base location, especially right now. I mean, we literally just started. We're out already. I can just get more wood. I always have more wood. So far this area looks safe. The only really dangerous thing was like maybe that spider I ran into. Yeah, so I'm gonna get geared up, maybe get a base going here, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. Alright guys, while I was gathering materials, um, I spotted... Let's see here. Need to find it again, but I spotted an otter. Now I caught me a big fish. Now I just need to find this otter again. Oh come on, I saw an otter. Where did it go? Well maybe I'll see it again, but until then I'm gonna eat this fish. <laughs> Alright guys, well I have finished making the base, um, just, it's temporary for now. There's the otter! He came back! I need you, uh, let me go get some fish. See, I saw that otter before, and it just disappeared, and then it's there again. Yes, come closer. Or, no. It, it swims so quick. Shit. Come back here. Let me feed you. Hey. I'm going to call you... Mrs... Wait. Miss Otter. You help with the heat, don't you? Water decreases faster as the ambient temperature gets higher. I realize this might not be entirely entertaining for you guys because I'm not taming or necessarily building much or anything special. But I mean, we are just starting an extinction. From what I understand or from what I know so far with extinction, um, it's mostly corruption. And, like, tech is obviously pretty big in this as well. 
but uh, it seems some dinos are corrupted. The corruption design on the dinos kind of glows. If it's blue, they're passive. And if it's purple, they're going to attack you on sight. So that is something to watch out for. And pteranodons. Uh, I played a little bit with Foxy on my Patreon server. And the pteranodons are the most annoying corrupted dinos. Because, I mean, they can fly and whatever, but it's like, ugh. Also, just so you guys know, I will be putting out uh, extinction videos and uh, I'll try to keep up with the vanilla as well. Uh, extinction is a little bit more important right now, but I do want to keep those two series going. And then other than that, uh, it's probably just the vlogs. And actually, as I am recording this, I think it was last night. Um, so this would be the... This would be October 6th, last night. I uh, hit a thousand subscribers, so I will be making I will be making a um, milestone video. It's not going to be as dumb as the ones I made before. This one's actually going to be a bit silly and uh, kind of something I haven't really done before. But we're we're going to try it, see what happens, and I'm probably not going to really enjoy it all that much because uh, the what I actually have to do is uh, it, it might be gross, but anyways. Just putting that out there. Uh, I'll probably have that out soon. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be definitely concentrating on ARC again. Streaming as well, I might be concentrating on ARC. I might do Battle Royale here and there as well, but uh, most likely uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. There's another one of those uh, things for crafting. It's um, like I said, element and tech is going to be pretty important on this map. Um, I, I apologize for the screen shaking. It is really annoying for me, and I hope it doesn't become a major issue in the future. It's actually only lately it's, that's been doing that. But yeah, it's called the city terminal, and you basically uh, can craft different things in it. So, scout and unassembled enforcer. So yeah, there, there's like... Um, enforcers and scouts that are just kind of flying around that you can kill. You can get um, tech, y you can get element dust from them, but you can also, I think, find one. Um, oh, we're a lot closer to the snow here than I thought. Yeah, there's a scout right there, actually. It's flying around there. Um, and that... I think that's an enforcer there. There's also these balls that, uh, mechanical balls that roll around. They're called defense units. They're supposed to drop element, I believe. But they just kind of disintegrate and you don't get anything from them. There's another scout. Yeah, th those are just like the stations you can craft at. This looks interesting. There's a tree right in the center of it. It'd be cool to see the city without, like, it being overgrown and stuff. Oh, I'm probably going to need you. Is it coming for me? Hi. Oh, am I gonna die? Okay, cool. So that was close. Um, sure, why not? Oh, it is still going up. Oh my god! Damn, that poison lasts a long time. At least we killed it. Okay, yeah, we should be waking up now. Oh, there's a defense unit there. Also, the other thing is, um, corrupted dinos don't really seem to be in this area. Uh, there seem to be a lot of them in the desert area. Um, that one's dead. It scared me for a second, but it's, it's dead. 
Oh, wait a second. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That was unfortunate. Pretty sure I just need to head this way, and I'll find it. I wasn't sure. Uh-oh. I can see it attacking my otter. No. My otter isn't doing anything to it, and it's not doing anything to my otter. Oh, that was bad. That was really bad. I can't hit it now. Get it, Otter, get it. What's interesting with the defense units, they don't, like, show blood or anything. They actually show uh, cracking. And then they just, like, you know. It might be a uh, high-ish level, though, so it might be here a while. I don't... I wonder if there's something wrong with the cord. <sighs> there was something in it. Oh my god, I figured it out. There was something in it making it freak out. I fixed it. <gasps> I just blew into the hole and it worked. Oh, I just realized what that sounded like. <laughs> Wait, shit. Grab. No. They're too fast. I don't know what that was. Not doing damage to it anymore. See, it's it's kind of looking cracked now. It's gonna go down soon. Look at that! My otter took out a 108 defense unit. Now, those <coughs> bugs are still over there. I'm wondering if. Can I do this? Yes. Go for it. You got this. It's not even attacking back. That one is. I'm telling you, this otter is like the best investment yet. Get it. Get it. Good, good girl. Ignore my phone. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, the element dust that I was talking about before um, that lamp there, and I'm not sure about that one, but, like, uh, that one there, you actually harvest those, and they give you element dust, and, like, scrap metal, and something else. This is where, uh, where my base is. Um, but the scrap metal, you can cook it, I believe, into scrap metal ingots or something and it basically acts as a regular metal ingot and then uh, also um, I think it's the corrupted dinos they drop these corrupted nodes and it acts as uh, almost like a replacement for polymer <gasps> what did you say? Okay, the otter needs food for one, so I'm gonna go around here. Oh, I got it. What? What was that? <laughs> I've never seen the otter do that before. What did it just. Oh, it got pearls. I want you to go get that guy. Uh oh. Might have been a bad idea. Or not. Seems to be holding its own. Just killed three in one bite. There. Now they're all dead. He can go oh he he was he was low. Got a pearl. Yeah, you you were low health, but 
you have a lot of food on you now. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy, and feel free to like, comment, and or subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit that hill, hill. And also, don't forget to hit that bell icon. And also, uh, feel free to check me out over on Twitch. I live stream there pretty much every day, um, mostly with Foxy as well. Anyways, guys, I know I've already said this, but uh, I've surpassed a thousand subscribers, which means I can now monetize my videos. But I choose not to. The reason for that is just with all the trouble YouTube has been causing for some YouTubers, um, I just I don't want to have to deal with the yellow symbol, especially at the size that I am now. Uh, in the future, I might activate it, but if you want to support me, there's my Patreon. Links are always in the description down below. And um, yeah, that's it. So as always, guys, bye for meow. God, I hate this freaking cat.